All right, I'm going to try and make a video of how to use my Thorize 18M's control module, right? Um, this is the home screen, and it tells you how much water you have, fresh water you have, and how much you have on your, on your gray tank, okay? It also lets you turn on the lights by living room, all that kind of thing. Kitchen, you know, I'm not going to read it through all it, but this also turns on the lights, and you'll know eventually which one of these mean, Okay. Um, back to the home screen, shows you the climate, shows you the water pump, shows you turning off all the lights, turning on all the lights, all of them turn on, turning off all the lights, okay? And the water pump as well, right? It doesn't hurt to keep the water pump on, um, but that's what that is. And then you go into the water tanks and it gives you a little bit more work, a little more, uh, if the same information, but specifically that. And then you're going to go into the awning, which you can extend. I mean, go out and retract coming in. Don't know why it's not the opposite way of doing that. And then this is the climate control. You can keep the AC on before you turn the generator on. One thing you have to make sure is, is it on high or low? I always say keep it on high, all right? It might default to low. Now, the other one here is all the lights again. You can get to it a couple ways as you saw. And this right here is the generator. You stop the generator first and then you turn the generator on, okay? In about 10 seconds, it'll turn on. Tells you your chassis, meaning like your house batteries, and tells you how much gas you have, okay? Seven eighths will last a long time, okay? And here is the kitchen vent, also the kitchen and the bathroom vent, okay? And that was the generator you just heard turn on, okay? Why would you use the kitchen vent? Well, when you're cooking and things like that, you have to bring it all the way up first. You'll hear it whining and bring it all the way down when you're done. Okay, can you roll around with it up? Yes, but please bring it down. <laughs> and then the same thing with the bathroom. The bathroom is just like when you're going number one or number two, you want that bathroom on there. But there's also switches back here when you're using the bathroom. Back there, to turn the lights on. I gotta clean that switches, but uh, turn the, the fan on as well as turn the lights on, okay? Um, what else? That was the AC turned on. Should be all right with that. I think that's it. And the gas, you go ahead and press this and you say you want it inside the cab, meaning the van, or you want it for your hot water. So I just go like that and I just turn it on. Uh, 60 is good, okay? Just wanna let you know 60 is good. And then on the, on the if you're taking a bath, you're gonna say off, echo, and turn the AC off. Echo meaning economical, hot, and boost if you want to take a shower in the next 30 minutes. Echoes, is probably where I'd keep it. Most people don't actually use this because you're camping, the water's pretty warm already, okay? And just turn it off. Um, when you're, before you take off, before you get on the road, make sure you turn this off, all the gas off, okay? That or turn the main switch off, which I'll show you outside. All right, that's how to control about the module if you want to know how to do the hookups if you watching the AC as a follow-up these are the vents so you can open them and close them don't know why you would close them this is how to open up the vents close the vents All right you'll feel it so you have to know it by heart um, these switches over here oh and make sure that the module says it's on high okay that this right here would say high and my default to low to turn these switches on you basically press these Everything else though, they don't have, doesn't have a switch. That means it gets turned on by the command module. All right, that's basically how to use it. I'm trying to see anything else I can show you. That's basically it. Oh, connection for your car players right there. Um, hopefully I'm giving you everything you need. So these are the connections. If you watched my first video of how to control module, this is the gas master switch. That means it's on. That means it's off. So if you get on the road, you probably want to turn it off. And when I do your walkthrough with you, I'll probably tell you different ways to deal with it. But that's the safest way to do it so that at least you know that the inside is not using the gas while you're on the road. Okay? This is, if you have an RV site, RV hookups, that is the um, hookups for cable. This is your power. Always make sure to snap down when you're driving. Okay? I'll show you where the hose is at. This is the sewer hose. It's only gray, so it's not that dirty, but there's gloves. This is the exhaust for the heater. If you need a key for your fresh water so nobody can tamper with it, right? I saw you a different video for that. This is a city fill. You'll see another different video for that. 
um, when you're actually trying to fill it into RV connections, all right? And I'll talk about RV connections later. That's your power, okay? That, when I showed you on the side there, that's where you connect it. You would connect this piece to the RV site and you would connect the round piece into the van and twist it. Back there, you will see uh, a hose that you can put in here. So you can go ahead and rinse off, feet, dog, whatever. Another water pump switch. Why would you need a water pump? Because when you're using your fresh water, there's no pressure, so you need to pump to be able to make sure the water runs, make sure it flows, right? This light switch right here is for that light right there. You might forget it when you're driving. Should be no worries, but always watch that side. That light is off, right? Uh, you have the DC power there. You also have uh, some power plugs there. A cassette video. There's a lot of cassette, how to empty that out. All the um, all the filters for if you're connecting into an RV hookup is here. And then this is the uh, deodorant for uh, the cassette toilet. You put half of this into that with a little bit of water. With about 8 to 16 fluid of water. Okay? Watch your head on this. Because you will hit your head like that. So always do it from the outside and push it in. All right? That hose there is only for filling your water. So either RV connections or when you're going to the hose and putting water inside your van. That down there is how you drain your gray water. You keep that handle on that side over there. You keep it closed. You open that up. There will be some leakage. Use these gloves. Again, it's it's dirty soap and water, right? So it's not like black tank stuff. It's not waste. It's, it's your dish soap, right? Then you unplug it. It'll leak down a little bit but it won't do all the way. And then you go ahead and make sure in a place where you use a hose to, to accept that gray water and you pull that, you pull the handle out, it'll, it'll keep trickling. So when you see it's a small trickle, it'll go burst for a while, right? A lot of water will come out and then it'll start trickling and then you can, it'll never stop. So after five minutes of trickling, go ahead and uh, shut the valve and then put that back on there. Okay, and then put that twist back on. It's not a full twist like opening up a, wa a water bottle. It's a quarter twist and you'll see that, all right? What else can I show you? Again, watch your head on this, watch your head on this. Okay, some more AC plugs here. All right, and that is the walk around of the RV. Hey, Turbo. So hi everybody. You're still with me after what 20 something minutes. Let me show you one more thing that I that I do here is that you might ask, well, if your TV, your iPad mount is used as a shelf, what do you use? Well, I use these magnetic holders and I put one right here for my iPad or my phone to play music. I got one over there in my left side view mirror there and I got one right there next to the shifter. And I use it to video record, and I use it to, um, I can just swap this out, and I can, and I, I can just take this right here and put this on there, right? Replace that, put this on there. But that's what I do. Just want to show you that. 